Hi, it's Rosie at Rose by Name Co. coming to you again with another uh, Halloween journal. I did do three of these, and so this is the final one. This one is called Haunting, and um, it is in the same style as the other two. Uh, the size of it is about six by six inches, and the spine is about an inch and a half. It does have two signatures and um, the usual tassel uh, this one is more in a purple theme so that i do have purple and gold here and as well i have this uh, little skeleton hand uh, for you to be you know scared of and uh, i uh, put a belly band uh, on this one as well and it goes through to the other side and you can uh, put something here as well and um, again it does have uh, three different uh, fabrics on here which is the top sheer layer and then I have some uh, purple underneath and the coffee stain paper um, fabric inside on the top we got this uh, Halloweenish colors uh, fall colors uh, uh, tabs and um, there's an, a vintage button on here, and the card here is a collage card, and um, I stamped haunting, and I got this beautiful tab, and it does open this way, so it's a little bit of a notebook to start with, and the closure is a, a ribbon in the purple and white just to match the journal and then so inside i always like to do uh, a fabric pocket just to make sure in case uh, sometimes if uh, i don't get to do a pocket here at least i have one here and uh, my digital skull and more of my I got some scary characters on here as well and more of my art and uh, collaging and here uh, you have a sticker of a moon and a raven and a bit of a feather and you know you can use that throughout the journal somewhere and this is I believe Tim Holtz uh, cardstock and then we have some ribbon here as well And so this one is a vintage image, and it looks like maybe a sort of a vampire is looking for some blood. And it has a little bit of eyelash trim on the top. And I stamped some, uh, of course, creepy crawly spider Halloween. Uh, this is on top of my art. This is a bit of a, let me see if this uh, fits, a bit of a, yeah, see, like that uh, belly band here as well. So you can tuck something in there as well. Um, this is the, uh, oh, first of all, I love using this tape, this uh, tape that I think originally I bought for packing orders and stuff. But uh, I like the way it looks uh, vintage on paper. So I use that here. And this is a wallpaper sample, and it's got this cute little skeleton on it and in um, brown and gold and a bit of lace over here and over here is a pocket and i usually put a little bit of embellishment on it so that you know you don't miss it by any chance sometimes white on white you don't really see it one of those see-through pockets that i do uh, with uh, plastic then i usually put something on there to indicate and there's a couple of the vintage images journaling cards and uh, this is something haunting going on here i'm not sure this guy is looking on to them and she's very very faint in this picture so i think this is more about haunting maybe and this guy in the back here too this is from a vintage book um he looks like from one of those stephen king scary novels or i think he was in a in a book and a film somewhere as well and a little bit of collaging on this beautiful orange paper. And a bit of a little little tiny, tiny bat over here. And I always like to put a bit of shiny stuff. And this is a little bit haunting to me. I know it uh, looks like a, a mountain, but I'm not sure what's going on with it. So 
it is something very old anyhow so you can look it up and um, in this belly band here I have a haunted castle and in the back is some uh, handmade paper that uh, you can use for writing extra writing space a little bit over here too all stamped up and uh, sewn and so on so over here is uh, my fabric a uh, purple one just just because I like to flip the fabric and a bit more collaging here and stamping and another notebook here with a tab on top and over here collaging and this is the middle of the first signature and I, I like to put um, sometimes some uh, a writing spot on the bottom for some kind of highlight or something and we got a ribbon here and a bit of a little purple tie a little bit more of the eyelash trim and here we have a photograph um, vintage uh, that I printed of a haunted house maybe a bit of a castle uh, somewhere probably up in the attic like over here at the Blair house here um, the attic I'm not always comfortable in it but um, here's some more bats and some of my art and um, try to put orange in here as well even though it's mostly purple and uh, a haunting haunting images haunting art just something haunted anyways and a little bit more of um, collaging here and here as well so a writing spot here spooky a bit red there and the other side of the flip and in this one let me see so there's more paper here as well and I stamped it a little bit a nice uh, nice sheet and a bit of a notebook here with a pumpkin and this is the, uh, the tea filter this way and a little bit more of that haunting image here just because I don't understand is there is this a house is this I don't know what it is I can see this is a mountain but the rest I'm a little bit haunted by it <laughs> A writing spot here as well a little bit collaging and this I think is a hand going this way so watch out for the hand you know how in the middle of the night you feel like oh, there's a hand on your shoulder maybe something happened with this little girl oh well, I hope she's okay and uh, here's a, a jolly Halloween vintage uh, journaling card and uh, more lacing here and also a skull charm on top of this uh, what is it again it's the uh, wallpaper sample can you imagine an empty page wow but you gotta have something to write on and um, this is from my stamping and my digital collaging journaling card and uh, some collaging here with paper and a bit more ribbon and in this pocket I have some sort of odd you know one of those um, African masks they do kind of intrigue me whenever I do see it um, I was wondering what do they represent and I know they represent many different things and another pocket here with the ribbon and maybe some sort of a witch dance going on so this is the second signature and just stamped up this card with Halloween and um, here is uh, uh, from a book looks like uh, someone standing above a grave this one looks like an open grave so cemetery is always spooky always spooky and mysterious very haunting to me and a bit more collaging here this way and some kind of a bird also very interesting and um, stamping up numbers and here it looks like uh, a shadow of something ominous and um, here as well a pocket of this very very scary couple haunting 
and uh, more of the orange that I like be this beautiful beautiful orange color you can snip it and use it somewhere else a little bit more feather a little tiny card over here it's just paper clipped really it has been coffee dyed oh and a purple uh, paper clip a little bit more of a notebook here this beautiful yellow on the bottom and uh ooh, talents very scary and with this uh, gorgeous um gold color a little bit more writing spots and this one has first of all so something collaged here and uh, some bones in the photograph so Maybe somebody who's uh, looking into a haunting is checking out the bones so it might belong to. And uh, writing, stamping here. Happy Halloween. More of some paper here. A little card, index card that I stamped up trick or treat. You can always exchange this for something else if you have something better to put in there. Uh, clear mini stamps this was yeah uh, from a stamp that i bought and um i put a little bit of extra paper in there but i like the colors so i thought uh, well i would reuse it why not and the back of that and this is um a bit of a tuck spot actually probably on the other side as well a bit of a tuck spot so you can put something in there creepy crawlies and mm -hmm reincarnation or recall so some sort of uh haunted thing going on with the re reincarnation always um very uh, intriguing to me as well a little bit of a pumpkin and spider that's that little belly band with my art then i put um, a little bit of a shiny flip over here and some you know a brown paper bag to write on and bit more of my collaging in this journaling card and at the very end I have haunting again and then it's a, it's a flip pocket so there's a pocket here as well that you can uh, put something into here and in this one is oh, a bit of um, that uh, haunting couple in color and so that's the end of haunting and my Halloween journals. I'm not sure if I did sort of pull out some stuff for a couple more, but I'm not sure if I'll actually get to finish them. And this is um, my Rose by Nameco uh, little logo here. So I hope um, you enjoy this uh, journal and maybe head over to Etsy shop and check it out. I, um, I also have to make another video today right after this one. For my big journal as well the circle of seven journal so thank you again for coming by have a great day it's rosie at rosbanenko take care bye bye